Hey there, Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine. And I want to just talk with you guys really briefly. If you guys have not noticed this about me, I am a lover of music. And I was listening to a song by Natalie Cole called No Plans for the Future. And in this song, Natalie um, makes a couple of statements that are a little bit disturbing. It's a very old song. The song may have even been out before I was born, but it's a song that I used to sing when I was a young girl. <laughs> and I don't know, I was listening to it the other day, but there's just something about this song that just has stuck with me. And I'm thinking about some of the things that she said. So the song is called No Plans for the Future. And it's by Natalie Cole, for those of you who would like to, who would like to YouTube it. So here's the deal. Natalie says in this song, um, why should I comb my hair? When I know I'm not going anywhere Why should I keep right on giving When I've lost my only reason for living So go out, just go out and have yourself a ball I have no plans for the future Cause he's not here at all Okay, so I'm not trying to sing It's not what I do, I'm an HR professional I can sing, but that's not what I'm doing right now I'm driving down the street and trying to be very careful So anyways, think about what she's saying why should I comb my hair when I know that I'm not going anywhere? Well, statistics show that when we improve our physical um, appearance, that it helps with how we feel about ourselves on the inside. So that's why, regardless to whether we have somewhere to go, or if we're just going to be at home, working from home, if we're unemployed, whatever the case may be, it would help you if you just fix yourself up. You don't have to you know, put on a full face of makeup or whatever, but get out of those clothes, get out of those pajamas, comb your hair, do a little something, wash your face, get yourself together on the outside so that you can feel better about how you're feeling on the inside. Then she says, why should I keep right on giving when I've lost my only reason for living? That's kind of deep. Now, I believe that the song was written out of an experience, either one that Natalie Cole had or one that the people who write for her had. So, um, think about it. You know, why should I keep right on giving when I've lost my only reason for living? Sometimes we have to be, we have to have enough faith to know that when we give, that is not for us, but that is for someone else sometimes. And I think when we get to a point where Natalie was in this song, and of course, I know it's just a song, but I still believe that it's applicable to where some people are because she's talking about a relationship. But there are some people who have given up. They've said, you know what, there's no jobs or you know, nobody's hiring or no one's gonna hire me without a degree or no one's gonna hire me because I have this or I have that. And so they just give up. So my point is, don't you dare give up. And then the next line says, um, so go out. Just go out and have yourself a ball. Now, this was the part I found interesting about the song because it's clear to me that Natalie understands that changing the situation can change a person's outlook. And what she's done is she's encouraging others to go out. Go out. Just go out and have themselves a ball, which means that she knows that if they get out into another environment, that they have the opportunity to change something. So she understands as well that if she were to get herself together, that she could change her situation. So somebody needs to just go out, <laughs> go out. And that doesn't mean to the club or anything like that, but get out of that present situation that you're in is the point that I'm making. And lastly, she says, I have no plans for the future because he's not here at all. Okay, this is the part right here that I just had to say, hold it, Natalie no plans for the future so again we know that in this song she's talking about a relationship but think about it what is it that you have allowed what circumstance have you allowed to totally dictate your future you know it's clear that if she were to fix herself up get up go out have herself a ball she might meet someone that would make her forget all about this guy but no she's stuck in that place where she's at where she wants to just um, 
stay there. She said, I have no plans for the future, which means she's not even thinking about tomorrow because she's stuck in her current situation. She's not thinking about, you know, three weeks from now or a year from now because she's stuck right there in her current situation. So I just wanted to tell you guys, I had to get that off my chest. I don't know why, I just felt like I needed to compare that to where some people are in their career or business life, but that's for you. Make some plans, it's your future. If you're going to have a beautiful future, then I think you should plan for it. As a matter of fact, I know you should plan for it. So that's it, that's all. I'm Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine. Luckily, I've had a straight path to my destination, but I really, really, really need to turn this camera off. So talk to you guys another time. I'm Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine, telling you to plan for your future. Know better, do, le do better, and live better. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe.